how Woody Allen and my cannabis plants taught me a very, very valuable lesson. And I find that often the most inspiring, the most uh, impactful messages or lesson or hints comes from actually things around me, the little things around me. The trick is to stop for a second and to actually notice it. And that's what happened to me this morning. That mini aha I had this morning looking at my cannabis plant. So five weeks ago, about five weeks ago, I got seeds, cannabis seeds from my best friends. He gave me like two type of uh, seeds, two strains. I wasn't sure exactly what's the difference. I never did it before. Intuitively, I thought, okay, I would take and I would plant it in four different pots. So one uh, pot was a little, little, very little uh, plastic uh, pot. The other one slightly bigger. Third one is even bigger. And uh, the last one was a clay big uh, uh, pot. And I said, you know, it's a different, different position on the balcony, different uh, uh, sun, I guess, angles, some more shades. Let's try and see. And I had no idea whether None of them are going to grow. Some of them are going to grow. All of them are going to grow. I had no idea. I never did it before. And this is what I found this morning when I was looking at them. So this one is the small one, the smallest one. As you can see, nada, garnished. Nothing happens. This is the biggest uh, plastic uh, pot. Same thing. For some reason, nothing happens. This one is the biggest clay one. And as you can see, there's lots of plants, but for five weeks, this is some, some they're not completely happy. They're not uh, as big as I guess they can be, but it grows. But look at this, this is the medium size plastic pot. Look, and this is where the magic happened. Look how healthy it is. Look how happy it is. Look how great this one grows. That's what I saw this morning. So what is the lesson and how Woody Allen came to visit me in my balcony this morning? So the lesson is, if you follow him over the last, since 1977, every single year he is releasing, he's creating and releasing one film no matter what every single year he is creating another film and he's the first one to admit to say I know not all of them are gonna be great but if I want to create a great film I have to try and even with his vast experience and nobody has more experience than him now and even though he's a genius writer, and even though he knows how to work with acts, and even though he knows the craft so well, he is the first one to admit, I have no idea. It looks like in the beginning, when you write it, it looks like the most beautiful film ever. But you're getting to the edit suite, you're getting through the process, and uh, start having doubts, and you actually, even though you're smart, even though you know everything, you don't, you can't predict what is going to be successful. You can predict that. And this is back to my cannabis plants, is that I was lucky because first I try, I didn't say let me go and read for another five years and see how to do it properly. I just go ahead and try. And the other thing, the diversification, the fact that one, each one had a slightly different uh, uh, conditions to succeed works for me and when you go at it and when you do it and when you try in few different ways something good will grow up and this is my lesson this is my visual lesson that I had today when I saw that lovely plant flourishing and happy and good and green and, and healthy is like mm, that's why tried, you try different things, then you're getting that one successful and that's all you need often in business and in life is just like one successful route that will take you uh, where you go. So this was my mini aha moment this morning and I hope this is useful for you too. See you next week. Adios. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Ooh.